All right, 457. Well, I went in and I got the fourth store that I went to looking for the Mahi Mahi. And uh, the cooler where they keep all the single, like two, three pieces, didn't have any. You know, out oh, just like every other store. This is a fourth store. Something I stopped by the cooler, there was a big cooler down there had two packets of mahi mahi in there and I got them things aren't just being stocked up you know like they got I mean there's plenty of shrimp hard shell stuff um, which I don't eat bottom feeding stuff plenty of that going around but not the uh, not the uh, um, fish that I like I like the white and uh, thick slices of white fish tuna. It's pretty good. It mixes good with vegetables, uh, with a little bit of soy sauce. And it's the new meat that I'm using now, rather than what we know they're contaminating stuff with. You guys, people are going to be listening and doing what they're told to do, and they're going to be believing what they're being told, even though they're lies. God said, because they believe not the truth, I'll make them believe the lies. And when they're telling them bird flu and they got to wipe out all their chickens, there's not going to be any eggs. And this is spiritual. It says we wrestle not with flesh and blood. It's all spiritual. And they want to kill as many people as they can kill. And just to get them to die in their sins. Um... That's why I used to kind of speak up against the OSAS a lot, you know, because there's more to the scriptures that they don't go into or cover or talk about. And uh, and it says, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. And uh, anyhow, I got a good drive back. I had to drive like 20-something um, miles to get out here to get this, 23 miles just to get this you know so I got the last two packets of it there's plenty of other fish out there in there yeah you know, but the mahi mahi just two packets three other grocery stores in my area couldn't get it can't get it you know why I don't know it's ocean caught fish um, If you guys can find it in your area, well, that screen gets dark, don't it, when, I, when I'm not blocking this. If you can't find it, in, look in your area to see if you can find that mahi-mahi. It's thick, white uh, fish. It's very good. It doesn't have that fishy taste to it. But if you can find it, it makes really good meals. It's not that expensive. Uh... There's plenty of salmon in there. That's what people seem to most like, you know, but it's more pink. And uh, there's plenty of that. Ocean salmon, which I don't really care for that either. But uh, anyhow, you guys, I'm looking forward to this being over, you know. And uh, I really won't mind when it comes to the point where we can't come down here no more. Because there's nothing down here, you know, just other than picking up some of the things that we might need. Other than that, man, I just want to get out of here. Um, things are changing and manifesting is what it is. I'm really seeing it for what the word says and manifesting. It's manifesting. And it is real. Israel. You know, God is doing it. God's judgment, his wrath. We were just talking about some guy in England that's taking him to court because he wouldn't go with that gender thing. And for four years, he's been going to court because the hospital, he was a doctor. Hospital let him go because he wouldn't call people according to what they wanted to be called. And he goes, no, this is not going to do it. But the thing is, four years, he's had lawyers, which you got to hire these people, um, that have been fighting it. And I'm sure it's cost him a fortune, you know. And uh, he's going to court on it, but yeah, I don't think he understands 
that this is the wrath. He can't overturn that case because if he did, it would overturn and change a lot of things that have been, that people didn't vote for. It just came in, you know? And I don't think they're understanding because he, he clearly said, if I could win this case, it'll turn things around, you know? And no, it's not going to turn things around. It's not going to happen. This is the judgment of God on godless people and sinners. You guys, how perverted does it have to get before you realize what do you think they're going to pass next? They've already put them in the hands of same-sex people. Little babies, okay? That don't know any better. But they're going to raise them up. How do you think they're going to raise them up? This is it, you guys. It's over, man. You guys, just rest in the Lord. And uh, we just keep sharing the truth. And we don't like what it is. I gave the guy a thumbs up. But, you know, he's going to find out. He's not going to win. He ain't going to overturn that law, that case with them. Because if they did that, then they'd have to overturn a lot of things. And that's not going to happen, man. And when he runs out of money for those lawyers... Um, they won't take that case and spend all that time doing that. They're only doing it because he's paying them now. You know, and I, I hate to sound like this, but it's the truth. You know, if you don't have the funds, man, they, they ain't going to do nothing for you. You know, especially if they're still asleep. They're not awake. If they were awake, you'd think they'd be coming together doing it anyhow, but they're not. You know, but if you got money... Oh, they'll work with you, you know. But if your funds are gone, they'll shut you down in a second, man. You guys, but know this. This is God's judgment on a uh, godless society, world, that doesn't believe in him. And, they, and it's like it says, they love the creation more. And they love the darkness more, okay. So now they, they're, they got, they're blinded. They're blinded, and they can't see what's coming upon them. We know. So, therefore, rest in the Lord, and that's from the Spirit of God that's abiding in us. That's the only reason why we see and know. That's, it's important to let people know who they are in God. Rest in Him, because these things, are, it's going to be manifesting much more than you can imagine. A lot more than you can imagine. And that's when we're going to be resting in our places and we're going to understand what's going on. And there's going to be a time where, no, I'm not going to want to come out and see it. You know, it's already, I don't even like what they were doing seven years ago. I was speaking up against it. And I had things coming against me in ways that I was trying to warn people. And now we're here. You know, and the majority of the world is, you know, they got the spirit of the world, the devil. You either have the spirit of God or you got the spirit of the other. And they're not going to, uh, I was told to sit down and buckle up, you know. I'm going to put certain scriptures on here, but I'm not going to do anything that's going to be poking, you know. Because uh, I don't want to agitate the problem that's, that's not going to be overchanged. And they're going to be out to just, you know. It's spiritual. We wrestle not with flesh and blood. Okay? God bless you guys. I love you. It's in Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior.